Capricorn, welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot. How are you? Thank you for returning. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And those of you who are who've just arrived, I'm new. <laughs> and so it would be awesome if you help me um, build my channel and subscribe, like, share, and comment. So we do love readings every week and angel messages. And this week, everyone, we're working on the fifth chakra. Yes, my my channel is about love and healing. So. Check out my all my links below. They're all free, all about the energy field and the chakras, how to release the blocks so that we can have a more um, wonderful, loving life, right? Because when we clear our blocks, especially our throat chakra, we're in our truth. That's what the fifth chakra is about, being in our truth, our divine will. And when we clear our blocks, the divine comes through us. So in our meditations, we breathe in the color blue, we exhale the color blue, we become the color blue, and we watch envision this color and rotating chakra so i'll be leaving two links this week too because it's all about toning the chakras and there'll be a youtube channel where you can join in and another link uh, a short link a uh, discussion uh article about toning the chakras how wonderful it is for you it's a natural high i guarantee you will love it so let's see what's going on in your love life capricorn <laughs> i'm a capricorn here i am here's cap cap and here's my little egg I found today. It's, I don't even remember what it's made out of. Um, I have no idea what it is, but I found it. I've been like, I don't know what, treasure hunting lately. And I even found my little tekite, uh, which is Moldavite from the Pleiades. Um, that was one of my first uh, purchases of crystals that I ever, ever made 30 years ago. <laughs> I'm not kidding, 30 years ago. Anyway, here we go. I'm a pioneer in this work. I'm a, really a pioneer. Um, seeding the planet for all these newcomers who have come how wonderful beautiful souls that have arrived to continue the work here in raising the vibration of the planet so welcome everyone here we go what's going on Cappy Cappy <laughs> what's going on the divine masculine okay so you know within us we have the divine feminine and the divine masculine and sometimes uh, we're unbalanced, okay, and we have to find that balance within us. And it's usually within our heart, um, in our heart center, when we can balance the energy of love and divine wisdom. Okay, so the frequency of the divine masculine supports our active, focused, and strong side, facilitating our capacity to transform our dreams into form. So it's all about manifestation as well. So the um, divine masculine is about action, you know. The feminine is about the holding of energy. It's like she's the vessel. The divine feminine is the vessel. And she continually unfolds the energy where the masculine activates it and creates action. So let's see what's going on in the divine masculine. Let's see, or it could be, we don't know what it is. We don't know yet, but it's here. So now the um, Scarlet Love Oracle, 108 cards worth of expression. <laughs> This is by Maruk. She's on Etsy. All her cards are either anywhere from 78 cards to 108. Um, so these are 108 Scarlet Love Oracle. And I, I really, really uh, adore her cards because they're very expansive and really wide open, very modern, which I like. <laughs> and I don't pick up cards that I screw up. <laughs> I'm shuffling, sorry. <laughs> But I don't do that. I don't believe in it. I screw that up. I mishandled it because I have arthritic fingers and um, sometimes I can't feel them um, as well. So here we go. We're going to turn this one down. We're going to turn them down first, of course, and then we're going to unfold them. All right, so let's put these back here. And let's take our... Romance Sages are going to put that card in the middle because that is the challenge, right? That is the challenge always. So let's put these here so you can see them. And I think you can see them. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so here we go. What is the challenge? True love. Wow. Oh, how nice. This is the romance of a lifetime. So if you haven't met that person, the heart of this... Uh, reading it's the challenge to meet this person maybe soon maybe tomorrow maybe over the weekend or some of you who have just met someone yeah it could be true love this is the romance of a lifetime mm. very very lovely so i like that news 
<laughs> I'm romancing my own life right now. I keep telling you get that, right? I keep telling you that I'm doing that. I don't know. I just have so much more to learn about my spiritual um, journey that I'm so connected to it that I don't want to let it go. You know, it seems like I'm finding more and more and more to go deeper, 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 and expand, 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 and share my wealth of information. Um, so anyway, let's get back to true love. So the divine masculine action, it brings things into form. So let's see. I'm taking the time to be alone and balance my emotions. So, all right, what do you think this could mean? You're coming in from a moment of, of perhaps needing a break, okay? Um, this could be true love, and, and the challenge is to, to, to continue this longevity of true love, right? The romance of a lifetime. And so the Divine Masculine here, energy is here, is telling us that, uh, yeah, we want to bring this in. We want to ma you know, manifest this. Uh, there's action here, definite action of, of wanting this. So this masculine energy is definitely manifesting um, love, true love, hopefully the romance of a lifetime. But at the same time, there's a break needed as well. I need a break. I need time for myself, okay, to balance. Okay, and let's see what the outcome could be. A soul contract. So this could be um, a, a true love, you know, a romance of a lifetime. And when we have soul contracts, they're very hard. Uh, they're very difficult challenges in those type of relationships. Um, there's a sacred contract. It's sacred. It's a sacred contract to fulfill. So know that there's always going to be needing time alone because so much happens. There's a lot of reflection, a lot of triggering. Ooh, these are big, big, big moments. So the Divine Masculine Energy is here working through this um, to find a way to bring it into manifestation. Okay, there's a lot of action here. I feel it, definitely. So let's see what the uh, tar Taurus, the tarot, what the tarot has to say. <laughs> I've been doing this too long today. My, my mouth is tongue-tied. My tongue is, needs a break. <laughs> and my fingers are definitely failing. And we'll keep doing our best here, I promise you. Let's keep shuffling a little bit more, a little bit more. Let's keep shuffling a little bit more, and I will pick that card up in a minute. Okay. Well, this fell out very nicely, and this one's face down, and I never pick these cards up because they're, it f fell face down, so I will use this card. And this is the first card uh, that fell on the table, right side up, to slid out of the pile. And it's the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is the first card here. Are you ready for this true love? Well, you possibly are. And let's see uh, what this um, other card here is about. This one here, this first card here is, what have we learned from love? Is there anything keeping us from this unbelievable love? I mean, we seem to want alone time as well. You know, we need to also balance our emotions, even though this driving divine energy is driving this relationship um, and manifesting it more into more of a, uh, you know, a, a, a real deep romance. So let's see, what else can we find out here in this connection? So where is it in our heart? Where is it in our mind? And what is our soul saying about all this? <laughs> oh my cars are collapsing. Okay, here we go. So we got the divine pet. Oh, here we go. Good. Okay, so we definitely want this relationship. We are here as a soul contract. True love, two of cups. Definitely, definitely here. But we need alone time. It's a soul contract. It's a sacred connection. But you do need time to rest. So let's see, what have we learned from our past? Three of coins. So in our past, we've learned partnerships. We've learned that in a lot of our relationships, they're, they, they become friendships first. They're partnerships that maybe that from these relationships, they become our partners in life where we um, are constantly um, in our group circle of friends, right? And everything we've learned, these coins here, are all lessons, beautiful lessons, strong, stable lessons that we've learned from our past about relationships and partnerships. So, and we know that 
there are times that we do need alone time when things are very powerful in a relationship, a lot happening on. We need to kind of, you know, say, hey, I, I, I'm going to take a break, but I'll see you tomorrow or next week. You know, that's okay, right? Keep yourself busy. It's more attractive when you focus on yourself. I've learned that. You know, I was always very needy. I was. You know, what did I know? <laughs> anyway, here we go. What is, um, is there anything keeping us? No, there's nothing keeping us. There's nothing keeping us from, from this relationship, from this love, from this connection, from wanting it. No, we want the passion. We want the new beginning, a new creative idea of, of relationship with this two of cups. It's your twin flame, your true love, your soul contract, sacred contract to fulfill. So, yeah, this is what we want. We want the prize at the end. And so let's see what happens here. Is your mind and heart and soul ready? Let's see what's in the heart. The Prince of Arrows. Um, the Prince of Arrows is a is information of the heart. It's Cupid. It's right there. It's Cupid's um, voice in your heart, um, asking all the questions. You know, like you're you're excited about it. You want to know more about it. You have questions that, um, and you're learning. Your your young heart is learning um, many many things about your past relationships that you've had. So you don't want to lose this one. You want to keep this one and. It could take time. This could be a long relationship of longevity, um, of love. So let it unfold. Don't force it. I like this. This is, this is great for myself. <laughs> anyway, what's in the mind? Balance. Wow. So the feminine and masculine find their balance here. So that's in your mind. Your mind knows that there's balance here. And the divine masculine is here definitely orchestrating this re this relationship it's definitely strong energy and your soul is saying yeah i'm gonna work hard at this yeah this is a relationship to work hard for don't give up you're gonna master your feelings both of you are gonna learn a lot you're gonna you have soul contract here to really come to this place in this time on the planet to fulfill this relationship you're going to learn a lot and let's see how far it goes because it is something that's going to last as long as we keep the balance right keep the balance remember your lessons what you've learned from your past of stable uh, which created stability in you right you need the alone time sometimes work on yourself it's very attractive when you're busy right and your heart is is questioning so many wonderful things um this is cupid um questioning your heart make sure you have all the answers that you want um, in this relationship um, it's 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 nothing that you have to worry about but you always want to be curious keep learning keep learning let your heart keep learning and whispering to you all the things that you need to hear so let's see uh, what the whispers of love have to say about this relationship with Capricorns true love with two of cups Wow Let's see. And you know, I never take cards off like that. Never do that. When I mess up a that was a that slipped out very nicely, like without me even knowing. And the other one flipped out of the air, but it turned down. You know, it was it's, it was right side down. So that's why I don't mind picking it up. Because I didn't see it. When it falls down like that and it's right side up, I don't like to take it because I see it, you know. Especially when it flies out like that. Okay, so what does the Whispers of Love have to say? Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. So love is on its way. Love is here to stay. So you have a wonderful weekend, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading because I did. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.